Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillahi wa ala alihi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in wa ba'd. So just a quick reminder as we now entered into the uh, last tonight's the hadith of Aisha radhiyallahu anha when she said an Aisha radhiyallahu anha qalat kana rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam idha dakhala al-ashra ahya ahya layl wa yaqad ahlahu wa shadd al-mazar and this hadith is muttafaqun alayh. So she said whenever he would enter into the last tonight's Ahya Lil, that he would spend his night, he would he would uh, stay awake the entire night. Ahlahu and he would wake his family up for for the salat. Wa shadd al mizar. Shadd al mizar, according to the ulama, has two different meanings. In the Arabs, they use this word shadd al mizar, which means that he would tighten his izar. Tighten his izar is generally is used by the Arabs whenever they are preparing to do a, a lot of hard work, because when they're about to undertake a, a task that's very very difficult. They would tighten up their izar so it wouldn't come loose the, during the time that they're working. Now, some of the ulama would also say that the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam would uh, that the meaning of uh, shadd al mizar is that he would uh, avoid his 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 uh, wives. But the stronger opinion is uh, is the first one is that he's preparing for a difficulty, the difficult difficult work. He's preparing for a difficult task because the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam spent the last uh, ten nights in al kaf so being that he was in a alerty calf, he was already avoiding his women because you can't you you can't have any relations with the women when you're when you're in alerty calf, and uh, that's how obviously obviously clear where Allah subhanahu wa taala said in uh, Surah Al-Baqarah, "Wala tabashiru hunna wa antum aqifuna fil masajid." So don't go near the women in any type of relations while you are in the state of alerty calf. And being that the Prophet sallallahu always spent his uh, his last ten nights in the Kaf, uh up until the end of his life, so obviously he was already avoiding his women. So when Aisha radhiyallahu mentioned that the Prophet sallallahu can he should al mazar, it means that he was preparing for um, he was preparing for a difficult undertaking, difficult work ahead of him, because now he was going to put in the extra effort to do more throughout the last ten nights of Ramadan than he was doing in the beginning of Ramadan through the first twenty nights. So this is a time that we need to work hard because we're seeking out the, the Laylatul Qadr and we want to make sure that we're standing up and praying at least some portion of that night insha'Allah ta'ala because as, as, as we know the Laylatul Qadr is not a night that it's uh, a stabit like it's uh, fixed it's always going to be on one specific night every year it changes so it could be on the 21st it could be on the 23rd it could be on the 25th it could be on the 27th or it could be on the 29th and it changes from year to year. So it's being that we don't know which day it's on, so we try to pray every single night, the the even nights, the odd nights. But the majority of the ishtihad and the hard work and the diligence should be on the odd nights. You know, and being that the first night of the ten nights is the odd night, which is tonight, which is the 21st. So we, you know, by the time that this is this audio is probably published, and the the, 20, the 21st night is already going to be finished, but we still have the rest rest of the time to continue working hard and uh, seeking the forgiveness of our Lord because uh, the Prophet sallallahu said in the hadith in Abi Hurairah radiyallahu anhu man qama laylatul qadr iman wa ihtisab min ghufira lahu ma taqaddam min dhanbi so he said whoever stands up in prayer on the night of uh, laylatul qadr on that night then uh, that his sins will be forgiven that his all of his previous sins I mean, but he has to do it with iman wa ihtisab so he has to be do it with Iman Billahi Ta'ala and he also has to do it seeking the reward with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his actions. So his intentions are the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and not any other reason. So this is what we're trying to seek. And as we know that this uh, this is the ibadah on this night is better than than a thousand months of uh, of ibadah and, and uh, a thousand months that don't have Laylatul Qadr. So I mean you imagine that. So I mean just one night that you stand up and it's better than the in the worship of a thousand months, so this is something that we need to work hard to try to make sure that we, you know, that we have and that we have the tawfiq from Allah Subhanahu wa Taala to stand up and pray on this night. Wallahu al-muwaffaq, wallahu al-musta'an, wa ilahuna subhanakum wa bihamdika shalom la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa tubuli.